and welcome back to the channel on this video first of all we are under a rain shower at the moment as you can see and uh, but I'm set up for the rain except for I didn't put my rain pants on but that's okay so temperature right now is just past two o'clock in the afternoon the temperature is uh, 42 with the wind it makes it feel like 36 right now so that's where we're sitting at as we shoot this video and what I'm doing today is I'm riding in class 2 the whole way what, however far I go here it's going to be a total class 2 ride which I'm in right now and I've got it on level 9 the highest um, assist level that it can be at so I'm going up a slight hill now. It was 21 miles an hour. Now I'm at 1920. It's probably going to hold pretty close to uh, what it's supposed to, which is 20 miles an hour. And that, in in the state of Oregon, that is the legal limit, uh, class two. It's funny how some states have it at class two, and some, like California, for example are in a class three. I'm not really sure why we can't all be in the same class. As I'm going now to start going down a little bit of a hill, I'm gaining some speed. This is a full throttle. And you heard me skid. I thought the regen would kick in better, but that time, not so much I did a skid so uh, I wanted to see what was happening there is I wanted to see if I could hit 30 but it didn't quite get there so this bike is actually going a little quicker than the 20 miles an hour but I, I was going on a slight downhill let me see if I can find an area that's more flat Um, it is a more gradual takeoff uh, in the class 2 on-road mode for sure so I've got it in like I say at uh, level 9 and I'm going 23 miles an hour at full throttle I'm not going to skid this time. I'll make sure I have plenty of room to stop. I wanted to see if I could touch 30 just a few minutes ago, but because it, it was so close, it was at 29, but I didn't leave myself enough stopping room and I had to grab the brake and do a skid. All right, let's see what we get around here. It's a little more gradual to build up to the speed. This bike is so quiet. I mean, the thing you hear more is the wind that you're creating from riding. And I'm hearing now the tires with the rain, but the water on the road. But uh, as far as the motor, the only time you hear it is a little bit when you take off, that little er noise, you know, when it first takes off. Because you're... Uh, using it you know getting it started there it's, it's basically starting up so here we go now let's see what we do here fairly level here i may be going just a hair up but pretty straight and level and we're right at 20 21 22 Yeah, I'd say you can get anywhere. Now I'm going to go slight downhill. So I think you can get anywhere from 20 to 23 miles an hour, it looks like, uh, on the flat. If you're on, in uh, class two mode, which is the on-road mode. And it, I'm going to check and see if it makes a difference if you're in uh, 
assist level because I'm in nine. I put it right up to the highest one to see. Let's see now. There's a bump there. So now I'm, I'm going maybe just a slight uphill, but fairly flat. It's not much right now. And I'm at 21, 22, 23 miles an hour, 24. Gee, I wonder if having it in pedal assist 9 does make a difference. Got my glasses on here and all of a sudden they're raindrops on them so it's a bit harder to see. Now the sun's coming out. It's kind of a bipolar day here today. At least the uh, snow and ice has left us for the moment. So now here I go again, full throttle. And I'm reaching 25 miles an hour. 26, 27. See, that's pretty good. Honestly, I thought we would just be getting closer to the uh, 20 miles an hour, maybe 21, I figured, but that's pretty good to get. Uh, I've seen it hit 27, actually 29 on the downhill, but say 26, 27, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to get up to the next turn here and I'm going to change it. I'm going to change the uh, assist level down. First I'll turn it down to 5, and then I'm going to turn it all the way down to 1. I think the assist level does make a difference on the bike, right? So. Looks like you're going to get a little over 20 if you do uh, at least the assist level 9. That was a, a little slight bit of a downhill, but it's hard to get a perfectly level spot. Um, okay, let me uh, change it up now. I'm going to change it back to a pedal assist level 5. Okay, there's 5, and we're going to try that. Then I'm going to switch it down all the way down to 1 and see what the differences are. Okay, so we're a little slow to get going here. So yeah, pedal assist 5 while well, I'm at 20, 21, and back to 20, 21. So yeah, it looks like around 20, 21. I'm gonna can actually do a UE here and go back again. Okay, so we got say 21 on that I want to go all the way down to one see if there's any difference okay here we go definitely slower on the takeoff yeah a lot more subtle uh, this is this is really good for bike paths you know, you don't want to be going crazy on the bike path with other uh, folks uh, that may be walking or, or uh, pushing strollers or whichever, you know. And um, so here I am at 17 miles an hour. So yeah, it might be actually 18 now. It may be actually a little bit lower than 20, but let me turn around and go back down one more time to the other side. Interesting. So it looks like if you want it right around 2021, 20, probably assist level five. If you do want to go faster, but you want to keep it on the on-road mode, class two, well, it's going to get you almost class three. So let's see what we do here. We're full throttle, on-road, class two, and we're at uh, pedal assist level one. It looks like 18. 
there's not really much wind resistance so it should be uh, okay that way so I'm looking at 18 so it looks like looks like about 18 on level 1 21 on level 5 and gee 25 26 27 let's let's go back up to level 9 one more t time I would like to try it once more okay there's level 9 level 9 does make a difference for sure So I'm getting 28 miles an hour, 29, yeah it looks like it looks like we're gonna get a uh, consistently like 27 28 29 so probably anywhere I'd say from 25 for sure and a little bit more on the uh, on road class 2 uh, level 9 that's pretty good so maybe maybe a lot of folks will just like to use that that's pretty good for riding around that might be good enough for most people to just do that uh, setting now that might have been a slight downhill there but uh, even still it's going as I'm climbing a little bit of a hill I'm still getting 22 23 it's not much of a hill it's a very subtle so I'd say it could bounce it around and then see when I'm, I am going up a little more steep it's starting to drop now like I say for, for um, if I'm on a bike path I think I'd just use this so you don't you know get going too crazily and uh, but I think um, otherwise if I'm on the road at all even if the speed limit is only 25 miles an hour I'm still going to use the uh, I'm still going to use the off-road just because I like that little quicker acceleration and stuff so uh, for me and you can just regulate keep it at whatever speed you want you know you don't have to go full throttle but I just like to have that little extra I think for uh, takeoffs and, and such I'm going to go here they're waving at me I was just sitting there I wasn't planning on going but so here I am still in class two as we climb a hill so if you've got fairly level ground where you are and you don't want you want to kind of stick within the uh, class two uh, speeds uh, you could just keep it pretty much on the uh, on road mode and, and not have to bother with the off road but I think since it's there you probably if you own the bike or had the bike I think you're gonna want to mess with the uh, off road I mean it, it probably you'd probably that's probably why you bought the bike you know you want a little extra uh, oomph, you know, if it's there, you know, if you need it at times. I'm not liking the uh, bike lane with all that crap in it. So here I am riding at 25, now it went down a bit because I'm going up a little bit of the hill. It's pretty consistent though, anywhere into the uh, you can get anywhere from 21 to, if you're going down a slight downhill, like to 29 miles an hour, maybe even touch 30, I'm sure. 
So the class two is perfectly as advertised. You know, it's going to give you the uh, I gotta get off this road here. So yeah, if you uh, if you're not too worried about speed, you could probably just use that class uh, two uh, on road mode. But and if you just want to keep it legal and you know, worried about that, but the way I look at it is. I like to have it in the off-road mode just for, like I say, for the fact of just having that extra oomph when needed. It doesn't mean you have to drive uh, or ride 30 miles an hour or, or 35 all the time. You know, you may, you may need that extra oomph for climbing a hill or you may need it for quickly accelerating through a situation. I like the quick acceleration uh, through uh, uh, um, through uh, cross intersections and uh, but we're all different right we all have different ways that we ride and how we ride like you know, and we do it whatever way gets us to where we want to go safely now the sun's back out it's really crazy weather today one of those days. Well, that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you have any comments uh, to make on this video or any other video, please leave the comment uh, down below in the comment section. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And hit the notification bell if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on Oregon E-Biker Mark. And I want to mention too that I'm on Instagram. Uh, Oregon E-Biker Mark is the name if you'd like to uh, join me and follow on Instagram. We'd be glad to have you on there. And if you'd like to purchase the Lyric Graffiti, the bike I'm on right now, uh, I do have a link in the description and you can hit that link. And then use the code Oregon e -Biker Mark. That's all one word, Oregon e -Biker Mark. And that will get you $150 off the purchase of a Lyric Graffiti. And once again, thank you for joining me, and until next time, take care.